Hey, good morning, family. God bless you. Today is November 29th, 2022. And as I was in prayer today, the Lord has a word for us all. Now, as you all know, before I speak any word, I'm going to pray, but also I'm going to say that what you think about it, how you feel about it, is not really a discussion or a debate. What you do with it is between you and the Lord. So it's not a commentary. It's not what I think. It is only what the word is, and that is that. I need give no further explanation because I do not believe that God's word and what he speaks needs man's additional explanation. He's very clear in his what he speaks, and so this is what we're going to get to today. Father, I thank you for this word. I pray, Father, that everyone who hears it, heeds it, that they test the spirits, and that they go before you with what is gifted to them. We thank you today, Father, for your word of warning. We thank you, Father, that you love us, and we thank you, Father, for what you brought forth for us at such a time and place as this. We pray all these things, Father, and we thank you for these things. And, Father, I also rebuke every spirit of contention and strife and division and confusion and chaos that would attempt to surround anything spoken. We thank you, Father, today for clarity of your word, and I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. This is what is spoken. My children, my children, why do you continue to forsake and mock me and my word? Have you not yet come to the understanding that I am God? Do you not know? Do you not yet know I see and know all? Do you not realize I see your cunning and clever ways? Do you truly believe I do not know your profit for gain at the expense of my grace? Do you not know through your wicked and adulterous ways you have willingly chosen to separate yourselves from me? My children, my ways are righteous, pure, and of life, not of evil and selfish intent to steal or plunder for self-gain and vainglory. My children, do you not see you have sold your souls to the world and its filthy politicians and operations of all that is against me and my word? My children, you must wake up. Time is running short. It is not what you have made it to be about. This mockery you have made of me, I will stand for no more. This mockery you have made of my church is an utter abomination to my word. Do you not understand, my children? It is not about upholding worldly ideals and turning them into idols. It is not about the usury of my word for the sake of building your kingdoms that are failing before your very eyes, yet you are so blind you cannot see. It is not about knowing and foretelling and the continuance of it and the lies you have no discernment to detect. No. The world has fully deceived you, my children. The enemy has arrived at your doors and you have embraced him right before my eyes. You have partnered, danced, celebrated wickedness and evil at the highest levels without regard for truth or who I once was thought to be to you. You have silently accepted unnatural relations, the destruction of children, and the shedding of innocent blood. You have allowed the enemy's children to rule your lands while turning a blind eye to me. Your days are numbered as you have you have what you have sought, and, it and as it was in the days of old, they received what was worthy of them, as they all did what they saw fit. It did not go well for them, and it will not go well for you. There is no escape from, from the destruction you have opened the door to, unless there is full repentance, my children. There is no more time to continue to allow fully to be what feels and feeds you what feels good and what feeds you. No. Do, do you not even see anything around you? Do you not see cel Satan celebrated right in front of you and even by your own children? Do you not see death at every turn and know that death is not of me? How for, oh, how long, oh, how long, my children, will you need to sink before you wake up and know that I am God? How long will you continue to listen to the liars spewing their false prophecies that you are all going to be rich in your own way, separate from me? Do you not discern the liars profiting off my word? No, you do not, my children. 
You must wake up, my children, and why you can. You must know it is not about worldly people or dates or programs or propaganda. It never has been. My son did not die so you could have a program fleecing the people believing that using my son's name was the answer. No, none of that is righteous. You, my children, must come to know what that is so that you can walk it out while you still have breath to breathe. You must come to the place of ridding yourself from the lust of the flesh, the perversion, and the uncleanliness that has stolen your hearts and, mi and minds and lands. The wicked have utterly plundered you and right to your face, and because you've forsaken me, it's even easier for you to lose all without even knowing it. You must wake up and repent, and why you can, otherwise it will be too late. You will receive all of what you will have deserved because the idols you chose will become and remain your gods. You will receive all of what you thought you wanted, and in your ways you will then understand what reprobate means and the true depravity and what true depravity really is. And let it be known it will have been your choice and your doing. You will have chosen all that comes with your sinful and unrighteous adulterous ways should you not turn now to me and repent of your sins. The time is near, my children. Again, I say the time is near. That is a word from the Lord on November 29th, 2022 at 9.43 a.m. Please take this to the Lord. Deal, let him deal with you however it is between you and him. And God bless you till next time. Bye-bye.